and welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I have filmed a long form video, but I had to today because we're gonna be opening up this advent calendar. My favorite holiday, it means so much more than words can this say. is from Mrs. Bunch's Fidget Toys Plus, and she has guaranteed that there are no duds in here. So we're gonna open up every single day and see if she scammed us. Last year, I opened up so many of these advent calendars and there were so many horrible fidgets inside, like those little ball things that nobody likes, those like weird stretchy chickens. And she is guaranteed that there's nothing like that in here. And this is like a thick advent calendar. You can see that it's like busting at the seams. So we're gonna start with day one, which is right here and see what is inside. And hopefully we can do this all without breaking a nail. Inside here is nothing. There is nothing in this day. Okay, so one of two things happened. She either scammed us or it fell into this one and they're all kind of down in here. I hope not, but let's open day number two. Okay, day number two is, oh, a micro pop tube. I love micro pop tubes. They are so cute and they are so rare to find in these types of packs. So this is definitely a great find. All right, let's find day number three. I think the hardest part is always finding where the days are. Oh, here we go, day number three. And it's a mochi. What kind of mochi is it? I'm always interested to see what these actually are. Charlie loves mochis. They're one of his favorite. Oh, look, it's a goldfish with lipstick. Very cute. It would have been really fun if it was like a Christmas themed mochi, but this is a definitely a great fidget to find in your advent calendar. All right, day four is this big one right here. And it is a wacky track. It's definitely crispy. It's one of the like harder ones to maneuver, which I think are a lot better because I like a wacky truck with a little bit of movement to it. This is definitely the perfect fidget for day number four. All right, now we're on to day number five, which is this box right here. Ooh, this is... If you guys hear any noise in the background, that is just Asia cleaning the playroom. I kind of... Uh, snuck in here to film this. So, sorry, Aisha. It is an infinity cube and it's not weighted. Weighted infinity cubes are my absolute favorites, but this is still a good one and it is powder blue. All right, we are on to day number six, which is, where? Six, right here. We got, oh, I think this is, a globble. Yes, we got a globble. I don't normally find these in advent calendars. So this is a very, very good one to find. So instead of like a globble, they would put like all that like small crap that we don't actually want. So Mrs. Bench is killing the game. I've never seen an advent calendar with this before. All right, number seven is this long one right here. I wonder if this is gonna be a pop tube. Oh, it's monkey noodles, but not just one monkey noodle. We got two mini monkey noodles. All right, you guys know what I gotta do. Oh my gosh. Obsessed, love it, love the colors. I really wish my hair were these colors. And I love the fact that there's two of them. On to day eight, which is this long one here. So now I wonder if this is a pop tube. This is, yes, it's a pop tube. It's an orange pop tube. And it's the mini. So we already got the micro and then this looks like a mini one. Like it's not like the normal pop tube size. And let's listen. I love that whistle noise. You're definitely getting a lot of orange fidgets in this Christmas box. Right, number nine is right next to number eight. And it is a flippy chain. This always causes controversy. I call these a flippy chain because they flip back and forth. And that's what Mrs. Bench calls them. Some people will call these a bike chain, but I call the ones that literally look like bike chains a bike chain. And this is what I call a flippy chain. Number one wasn't down here. So now I'm wondering if number one... is somewhere else. So we are still looking for fidget number one. So now let's go to day 10, which is this guy right here. Oh, 
It is a black snake. These are not my favorite, but Crystal who works for me loves these. So I definitely know that people enjoy these. I just happen not to, but I do like that it is in this advent calendar because I think I'm like the only one in the world that doesn't like these. Now we are on to day 11. It's always such a scavenger hunt looking. All right, day 11 is, ooh, a simple dimple with a keychain. If I know Mrs. Bench, I know that there's gonna be a keychain because she loves making sure that she crosses all of her T's and dots her I's. Let's listen to it and see if it is crispy. Not bad, definitely not bad. It does have a quieter side and a louder side, but I love the pink and the yellow. Ooh, we can kind of see this one popping through. So we're gonna see if we can hide that. All right, so next is day 12. Day 12. I don't know why it's always so hard to keep up. Or was that, oh yeah, here's day 12. Another mochi. And this mochi looks like it is like, oh my gosh. It's a little unicorn. How stinking cute is that? All right, we are having a little bit of spillage from some of the other ones. So I think this is 15. We're gonna pull it out because it's already falling out. So that was 12 and now this is 15, but listen. So satisfying. In shipment, it looked like it got a little bit mixed up. So, oh wait, look there. I just have fidgets of falling out. It looks like 15 was two monkey noodles. So she is putting a lot of bang up for your buck in this advent calendar. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we still need to open 13, which is this big one right here. Oh, a snapper. So snappers, you can do the loud side or you can do the quiet side and it is a rainbow snapper. So that's 13, so let's, oh! We just had another fidget fallout right here. I think this is from day number one. This is getting a little chaotic, guys. I am sorry, we're kind of bouncing all over the place. It is a beautiful gold color. I love acupressure rings. They are so satisfying. So I think we're on to day 14 now, which 14 is, where's 14? 14 is up here. What is this? It's an extra large mochi and it is a brown elephant. I have literally never seen an extra large mochi in any advent calendar. This is such a great find. I'm so excited. 15 is underneath it and I already opened 15. 15 are the two monkey noodles. So now let's move on to 16, which is right here. And 16 is, okay, come on 16. 16 is, oh, little finger puppet. Not my favorite. Don't love these. <laughs> All right, so let's do number 17. Se oh, 17 is right here. 17 is, oh my gosh, another micro pop tube. So, oh, let me grab it. Now we have two micro pop tubes. Perfect. Okay, so now number 18, right here. Oh, okay, another mochi. Charlie would be obsessed with this advent calendar. It's almost as if I should have uh, let my children open it, but I couldn't wait. It's a little panda bear. It's a panda bear mochi. So we have so many cute mochis. I definitely think that the big one's my favorite. Okay, so let's go to day 19, which is, <gasps> A DNA ball. Perfect. I love DNA balls. This one has air in it. So I'm gonna do my little trick where I stab it with a tiny little needle to take out all of the air, but DNA balls are great. And it's another one that I don't see a lot in these advent calendars. They like never put stress balls in here. So Mrs. Punch is killing the game with that. Number 20. I feel like it's just getting another mochi. It's a very mochi heavy, but this one is, oh my gosh, it's a giraffe. But these are the extra large mochis. So they are not just your average tiny mochi. They are the big ones. Time for 21, which is down here. It's getting like really difficult to show you guys like what's happening. Another micro, another micro pop tube. So we're kind of able to put these all together, which is really cool. 
could almost use this as like a straw. All right, so now we are on to 22, which is up here in this corner, and it's one of these guys. You pull them down and you, hold on, maybe we can make this work. That went so high. These are not my favorite fidget, but if you can get it to work, <laughs> They're actually pretty fun. They're not a fidget that you could like take most places with you though, because it definitely flies high when you get it to work. Oh, there it went. All right, so 23 is in this corner here and it is another globble. And this one looks like it might even glow in the dark. Ooh, I love just... Mm. All right, that's not coming down. I love throwing them in the air. Okay, 24, so we are on our second to, oh no, 24, it's the last advent. And it is this huge, gigantic present poppet that couldn't even stay contained because it is so big. It is literally like most of this advent calendar. Let's listen to it. It sounds pretty good. So I would definitely rate this as one of the best advent calendars that I have ever opened because it doesn't come with these weird sticky ball things or the fidget spinners. She doesn't like fidget spinners at all. Oh, and I know she also doesn't like these little peanut things. So she definitely filled it with some of her favorites, which I am so happy about. I think my favorites are definitely gonna have to be the DNA ball and the massive poppet. And my least favorites are gonna have to be the little bouncy guy and the little finger puppet. But let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like these? All right, guys, that's everything for today's video. Let me know, did you order this advent calendar? Are you super excited to start opening it now that it's December 1st? And let me know what you guys are asking for Christmas. I'm really interested to see what's on your guys' list. If you liked this video, I'd like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget, oh my gosh, I haven't said this in so long. Don't forget to wash your hands. Bye, guys. Bye.